bird's eye view. Okay. Hi, everybody. It's Kyle from Skylar. I want to say hello. I want to say hello because I haven't seen you in a while. You haven't seen me. That's probably a good thing, given the state of my hair, given the fact that this is my pathetic attempt at a beard. I, uh, I haven't been able to meet up with you. I haven't had any face-to-face -face meetings. We haven't had any lunches. We haven't gone over for any golf games. We haven't done any of the fun things that make life and work and, and, and the social aspect of everything we do so fun. And it isn't cool with me. And so this was a way that I could get in front of you, whether you want to hear it or not. We're going to bring some interesting people on. We're going to bring some fun people on. Uh, Bird's Eye View is intended to give you some insight, but also maybe give you some ideas into what's happening with the world. I invite you to sit back, relax, pour yourself a drink. I certainly have. I've done quite a bit of that since this whole thing started, and I expect to continue to do so, and I'll just deal with the repercussions after the fact. So what's happening at Skylar, and what's happening with you? How are you? How's the adjustment to quarantine life been or self-isolation been? I hope you're following the rules. Uh, I know I'm certainly doing my best to. Uh, life here has been an adjustment, the work-life part of it, it certainly. Uh, I have a daughter that loves to bang my door down. And uh, while I get to spend a little bit more time with my family, it's certainly been a learning curve as far as you know making this work from a, uh, bringing the whole team together type of thing. The team has done an amazing job. Everybody's transitioned very well to the, the work from home uh, life and, and the efficiency, the strategy, the creative, all those, you know, cool things that we do has been great. And even the collaboration has, has, you know, surprisingly been really, really strong, but it's still not the same. There's something missing. And, you know, we see all these ads, there's commercials all the time, business as usual, business as usual. Like, let's just face it. It's not business as usual. And, and you know, and there's certain parts of this that may be beneficial, but overall it sucks. And, and you know, I don't want to live a life where I can't hug my niece or I can't see you, depending on who's watching this. Maybe I don't mean that, but that's for you to think about. But certainly, you know, I look forward to getting back to, to when we can get together. But let's also acknowledge the fact that life and work and is, is changed. And we need to adapt to it. I think that our team is ideally set up for that for a variety of reasons. But, you know, truth be told, we, nobody really knows. So let's just look forward to, to the great things that are to come and, and, and make the best of it. I think from, a, from a, a story standpoint, as far as what Bird's Eye View is all about, you know, we have some kick-ass stories to tell you. We work really closely with Food Banks Canada. We just raised $8 million last week um, as a part of their fundraising campaign on, on CTV. And, you know, given the capacity that we work with them, we got to, to play a small role in, in, in how that's carrying out. And, you know, we work with very closely, obviously, with Electric Utilities, who's been doing an incredible job of communicating with their customers, uh, not only about just keeping the lights on in a time where people are worried and, and are very cost conscious of things, but, you know, in other ways as well. What's Electra bringing to the table? And let's, again, acknowledge the fact that it's not business as usual, but, you know, we can still make the world a better place and make our communities better by communicating effectively. It all starts with communication. And, you know, there are so many others. Uh, Magnata Winery, for example, I, you know, made a business decision to introduce curbside pickup, and that went astoundingly well. People responded to that really well. Um, and at the same time, they shifted their operations to produce 15,000 bottles of hand sanitizer, which in return for a donation to Food Banks Canada has enabled, obviously, support of their community and their customers, but also people who are, need help right now at food banks um, or the network of food banks. So... You know, the way those stories happen and the way those things got pulled off are pretty interesting. And the people that pulled them off are even more interesting. That's what Bird's Eye View is going to be. It's going to be about that stuff. It's going to be about those people. And it's going to be about things like that, that hopefully could spark ideas for you or your business and maybe give you an, a, an idea as far as kickstarting something or accelerating something, whatever it may be. You know, it, it's not business as usual, but our business is still functioning at a really high level. And I look forward to working with you in any capacity. So look, that's the end of the first one. I've talked enough. Can't wait to talk to you at the next one. Where we have our very first exciting guest with some pretty cool stories. And uh, I'll see you next time on the second Bird's Eye View. So cheers. Thanks for watching. Bird's Eye View.